In this video, we are covering the Legacy DX11 performance mode in Fortnite versus the brand new DX12 version. Now, as much as I would like to talk about the key differences and the specifics of what changes have been made, Fortnite doesn't release this sort of documentation, so generally speaking, I can fill you in though on the key differences of DX11 versus 12 in a broader sense. I trimmed a lot of information out, so if you would like to read up more, you can do so on my website, but for now, let's compare these performance stats. I performed two tests on each mode, and unfortunately, DX12 is not quite up to par with DX11 yet. The lows were consistent on DX12, and on average we had lower frame rate. This is Future Corby speaking. I was about to end the video, but as I was playing in Battle Royale between DX11 and 12, I could swear I felt a significant decrease in performance on DX11, while DX12 was much smoother. So I did do a test, and sure enough, I found that DX12 did in fact run much better than DX11, now, of course, this is a real world scenario, so the rendering modes aren't perfectly pitted up against the other one. So take these benchmarks with a grain of salt. I won both of these, so they're both close to roughly 18 minutes of gameplay recorded. And I'm not sure what causes the major discrepancy between creative and battle royale for performance, but there is one, at least for me. So for me personally, I think DX12 performance mode is worth it. And I recommend you all give it a try too, to see if it works better for you in game. With that, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.